Hey you, thank you so much for joining me here today. I hope you're doing well and I hope your December is going just right, that you're enjoying, you're relaxing, you're spending time with good people. But I also hope that you're still doing what you're supposed to be doing. Okay? Okay, so it being December, uh, it means that it's time to set those new intentions, right? And I was thinking about it and I was wondering how can I make it easier for myself this time around to actually accomplish those goals? Because I, like so many of you I know, start the year, right? We have our goals in mind. We know what we're supposed to be doing. But our goals just never materialize. Because maybe somewhere along the way we just give up or we keep procrastinating until it just never happens, right? So I came up with a couple of tips that I feel might help me to be able to accomplish those goals this time around and I figured why not share with you because I also want you to accomplish your goals okay so let's just jump straight into the tips so my tip number one is to only set goals that you're only attached to by that I mean set goals that you're actually passionate about don't set goals just because everybody else is don't set a fitness goal because everyone else is don't set a goal to start a business just because your friends are. Maybe that's not what you actually want. Maybe what you want is a promotion at work. Maybe what you want is to travel more. Maybe what you want is to spend more time with your family. Maybe I don't know what you want. You know what you actually want, right? So set goals that you're actually passionate about so that when times get hard, you can still push yourself to do what you're supposed to be doing, okay? That is my first tip. My tip number two is set low standards for yourself, especially at the beginning, okay? Uh, I know this sounds weird, but I feel like it might work because one mistake we usually make is it's New Year, we are psyched, we just want to get things done and then we start way over here and then get burnt out so quickly and just give up. Yeah? So I feel like the best way to do it is first work on building a habit. For example, if you want to get fit, first work on building the habit of working out or eating healthy. Even if you have to start with 5 minutes a day, 10 minutes a day, just be consistent with that 5 minutes every single day. Before you know it, it's a month. And then maybe after a month, make it 15 minutes every day or make it 20 minutes or make it 30 minutes every four days all right just build on work on building a habit first and then you'll accomplish your goal more easily okay that's my second tip my tip number three is be specific with your goals don't be vain with them because i think that's setting yourself up for failure you can say I want to get fit in 2023 or I want to save money or I want to grow spiritually. That's just an intention. But you make it a goal by being specific with it. For example, if you want to get fit, <laughs> I know I'll use getting fit a lot in this video because most of us do have that as a goal, right? So if you want to get fit in 2023, what are you going to do about it? Or what exactly do you want? Do you want to lose weight or do you want to just turn up? What do you want? Say you want, you decide you want to lose 20 kgs. Is that 20 kgs within six months or is it within one year? Yeah, so it's within one year. So, how many kgs do you need to lose every month to be able to lose that 20 kgs by the end of the year? So, to lose that, that many kgs in that month, what do you need to do? Do you need to work out? Do you need to? check on the diet if you need to work out how how often do you need to do it do you need to work out five times a week three times a week if you decide it's three times a week yeah when are you going to be working out is it on monday wednesday and friday okay monday wednesday and friday when am i when do i actually have the time to work out is it in the morning or in the evening maybe it's the morning at 6 a.m before i take my shower or it's in the evening after I come back from work, when exactly are you comfortable working out? So that way you have an exact plan on how you're going to do it. And I think that will 
make it easier for you to actually accomplish that fitness goal okay that's my tip number three my tip number four is write your goals down i know everyone says this but i think i think it's important as well no matter how small that goal seems just write it down because it will first of all serve as a reminder it will help keep you in check and also it will help gauge your progress and you also it will motivate you when you cross things off your list here yeah? you'll feel a sense of accomplishment so i think it's important to write your goals down okay my tip number five is start warming up right now <laughs> yeah i know december is for enjoyment and for relaxing and by all means do that i'm not telling you to do that actually do that as much as you can because you need it it's been a tough year a lot has happened and you need to relax you need to enjoy yourself all i'm saying is start taking the small steps towards your goals because this uh, january will come either way yeah and you'll have goals these still things that you want or need to accomplish okay so how about you start making those small steps right now if you want to get fit in january how about you just start working out even if it's for two minutes or five minutes every day just get in the habit of it because i feel like it it will be easier for you to flow into it rather than jump into it because if you're anything like me think my number one cause of procrastination is too much pressure when something stresses me out so much i find that i procrastinate on it so much and this youtube channel is an example of what i am talking about i wanted to start this channel in january but i felt like in january there'll just be too much pressure and then i'll just start procrastinating on it so why not just start right now and then when january comes i'll just continue doing what i'm doing and not have to start something new in the midst of everything right so just start warming up you know just start no matter how small that thing seems it will be very important and you'll be grateful you started okay my tip number six is as you plan your goals make sure you plan your rewards as well okay because rewards motivate you and they give you something to look forward to for example, let me give an example with myself. I've started this YouTube channel. It's something I wanted to start for the longest time, but I kept procrastinating. But now I have started and I feel like I'll, I'll need a ring light. But I decided I won't get that ring light until I reach my three month goal. So when I do, that will be my reward because first of all i'll have built, built trust in myself and also i'll feel more deserving of it okay so you can do the same thing it can it can be anything anything small doesn't matter you can say if i reach my one month fitness goal i'll take myself out to dinner in my favorite restaurant or i'll get myself that shoe that i've been eyeing whatever it is for you just make sure you also reward yourself for your hard work because you actually deserve it okay and this is something you can even use on a daily it doesn't have to be like after you reach a three month goal or one year goal i use this every day actually i usually tell myself because i i usually i used to do lists every single day i have a to-do list for every single day so i usually tell myself when i accomplish all the tasks that i intend to accomplish today in the evening i'll give myself two hours of watch time yeah but when i don't accomplish everything or maybe even i don't have to accomplish like a hundred percent of everything but at least 90 percent if i accomplish at least 90 percent i'll give myself two hours of watch time in the evening but if i don't i'll use those two hours to accomplish or to finish those tasks that i didn't finish okay that's I feel like some that's something that's been that's worked for me and it might work for you too so just try it out my tip number seven is take it easy on yourself okay get help if you need to take breaks when you need to and then come back to it better and stronger because your mental health is important as well and just remember that you're not alone okay god 
has your back. Remember to pray, remember to ask him for help, remember to ask him to guide you, remember to ask him to give you strength and to give you grace. Okay, and uh, I'm also sure you have friends and family who are who will always be there for you and who will gladly help you whenever you need that help. So remember, you're not alone, even as this community this community of ours we are also here for you so if you ever need motivation or anything you can just reach out to me i can share you one okay so just remember that you're not alone remember to take it easy on yourself remember to get help if you need to and yeah remember to also pray pray a lot and that's what for grace okay yeah so Anyway, that is my last tip. Thank you so much for staying with me until the end. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you liked those tips, let me know. Please also let us know some of your goals and some of your some of the tips you plan on using to accomplish them. And uh, I'll see you in my next video. Okay? Stay blessed and take care. Bye.